Well, hello everyone. Now, a while ago, I made a video about my icebox thermal energy storage project. Now, the idea with that being you can use ice to store thermal energy. For example, if you had excess energy from a solar panel, windmill, whatever, you could put that energy into the ice. So it'll store it later, and if you need to use it, for example, when the sun stops shining or if the wind dies down, you'll still have it there. The idea being it was used to preserve food, you know, keep it at the right temperature. But a discussion started in that video in the comments. And some people were asking whether or not it'd be a good idea to try to use that for air conditioning. So, you store up energy when there is sun or wind, and if it, you know, the wind dies down, sun goes, gets covered by the clouds, then you can still have cooling. So, instead of going into a long, drawn-out technical explanation of why that might be a good or bad idea, today, we're actually going to try it. Okay guys, this is just an experimental setup. So what I've got is a stainless steel frame that was just welded out of scrap parts. So scrap, scrap steel so welds aren't the best. Anyway, on top of it is sitting a transmission cooler and four fans. Yeah, I know wires and the mess and all the rest of it. But at the end of the transmission cooler, those two lines over there are gonna have cold water flowing from the ice box. And they're gonna, it's gonna flow through the transmission cooler fans are going to pull the air through and we're going to see if it will lower the temperature in this room at all if any so don't know what to expect so okay so the temperature in this rude room as the thermostat reads is 80 degrees Fahrenheit and this thermometer with the dual scale is reading 27 Celsius so I assume that's about accurate so now I need to show you the ice box Okay, so this is the ice box. First glance, it just looks like an ordinary camping cooler, and for the most part, it is. But let's take a look inside. And as you can see, it's filled with quite a bit of ice. So, in the middle there, just in there, is not actually solid ice. The rest of it around the outside is solid ice, because there's a stainless steel evaporator down in the ice and there's a small refrigeration system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small water pump and I'm going to pump that water from the middle there up to the transmission cooler upstairs. And like I said, I'm going to see if it does anything at all, if it cools the room off at all. Okay, so the water pump has started. As you can see, it's pumping cold water from the ice box through the transmission cooler. So now let's go back upstairs and start those fans. Okay, so the time now is 6.48. It's still 80 degrees in this room. It's 86 outside, so it's 30 Celsius outside. So let's start those fans and we'll check back on it in a few hours, see if it's dropped it down any at all. noisy things. Alright guys, see you in a few hours. Okay, the time is 8.48 and I've just stopped the fans and as you can see this thermometer says that we've dropped 4 degrees. This one looks like it's reading about 24 and a half, maybe 25, so I'd say that's probably just about accurate. Okay, down here at the ice box, you can see we've probably melted, well, I'd say about a quarter of it, so still have plenty more in there. If we wanted the temperature to drop even further, I think we'd probably have to have a higher water flow rate or a bigger radiator. So guys, as you can see, that seemed to work out pretty well. Now, it is still 80 degrees outside when I turned the fans off, so it is still removing quite a bit of heat, that is, if we left it on. So anyway, the question is, would it be a good idea to use an ice box for air conditioning? If you wanted to, say, store solar energy or wind energy in the ice, and then use the ice later, melt it later, to provide cooling or air conditioning for space cooling, instead of just using it to keep food at the right temperature. Well, the answer to that question is really going to depend on what you've got. Say, for example, if your electricity becomes really cheap at night, or if you have a solar panel set up, 
and you have a fairly, fairly large space to store ice and you've got the chiller to do it, then it probably would be a good idea. On the other hand, if you haven't got any source of renewable energy or your electricity doesn't become very cheap at night, then it probably isn't a very good idea. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching.